trying to regroup from the corrupt congressman who ripped her off, stealing her company and leaving her broke and virtually homeless. She found a well-connected investor in Charlotte, a powerful motorsports and banking executive, and things began to look up. But then, like a shocking scene out of a Shakespearean play, the executive assaulted and raped her in an exercise of power and control. This left her wondering what in the hell was happening to her already dramatic life, continuously fighting against the odds. Then, a year later, she found out he had been bragging to all the Charlotte racing bigwigs that she was his mistress, that he had been having sex with her in his office at the Speedway weekly over the past year. He was blatantly lying to his powerful motorsports cronies in Charlotte and NASCAR. Truth was, she wasn't his mistress. She wasn't having sex with this disgusting man. Ironically, his horrible lies and bragging virtually destroyed her business and personal reputation in the sport, causing her to once again sink into deep depression and financial ruin. Again telling friends and family, needing their support. They said, move on, just let it go. There's nothing you can do about it anyway. He's too connected and powerful. But she had no intentions of letting it go. She became stronger and more resilient, unafraid of his power and influence. She faced it at full speed and head on, revealing these mean-spirited attacks in her compelling and heart-wrenching tell-all memoir, Dangerous Curves, where she took no prisoners. Dangerous Curves, the Terry O'Connell story, edition two. Where there's danger and Terry O'Connell, there's always drama. Available on Amazon.com now.